Coverage continues now with CBS4 investigative reporter Jim DeFiti who joins me. And Jim, you were on the phone all morning long. You've been uh, talking to your sources. What led up to this resignation? That's right. So we've been talking to people actually throughout the course of the week after the Miami Herald, which all credit is due, initially broke this story. And there's been an evolution that's taken place. Essentially, over the last 48 hours, it became clear to the closest people to Frank Artillis that he could not survive this scandal, that this scandal was going to take him down. And they urged him to resign. Initially, though, he fought it. He hired a high-powered attorney, and he was going to basically go on a scorched earth mission to fight this. And his friends and supporters were telling him, don't do that, don't do it, calm down. But he had to get in the right frame of mind. As one was a person very close to him said to me, his head's not right. Well, this morning his head finally got right and he realized it was time to step down. Now, when you say a scorched earth policy, are you talking about calling out other lawmakers? That was what his plan was. His plan was to fight the charges against him by throwing mud, essentially, on other lawmakers. Now, that would not work in the right. long run. It would only cause more problems for him. And I think he was convinced of that. But it sort of shows that there was a period of where he was very angry and felt that he was the aggrieved party in all of this, believe it or not. But eventually he came to the realization that, you know, he could not survive this. He would, in fact, have been expelled from the Senate. And now there'll be a special election. My there'll be a special. There'll be a special election. Democrats hold the balance in that ticket, which is one of the interesting things. Hillary Clinton won that seat mm -hmm. very easily, and Democrats are going to look to pick that seat up in the Senate for next year. All right, we'll be following. And Jim Jafiti, thank you very much.